Good morning, welcome back. It is Saturday, and hopefully this video drops at the normal time. Yesterday I noticed that my uh, daily video and my Fast Packs video, for whatever reason, dropped at midnight Friday morning. So, unconventional time. I try to drop them at 9 p.m. and noon, or 9.15 a.m. and noon accordingly. I don't know if it was just a YouTube glitch, or if I just totally messed up on listing my time. But nonetheless, we're going to rip 2017 Panini Torque Blaster Box. But first, I want to show a few things. I actually got these last weekend, and they're not racing card related, but they are card related in terms of what they are, postcards. Uh, one of our friends down at the track, the Speedrome, uh, Wes, who runs in the uh, factory front wheel drives and the Fords and the Legends this year, uh, he was on vacation a month or so ago. He and I are both big JFK uh, assassination. Uh, we, we both enjoy that that topic and, and talk about it at times. And he was in uh, Dallas, Texas uh, on vacation with the family, with his family, and, and he sent me a picture of being, he was in Dealey Plaza and said, guess where I'm at? And of course, I knew, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And we chatted a little bit there through messenger a little bit and then i asked if he could pick me up some postcards and he says absolutely so he picked he took a picture of him when he got back to his hotel or wherever he was staying and and uh i was like those look cool and he brought them to me last weekend so the first one here is what the texas school de school book depository initially was south rock island plow company and this was uh, just kind of like a, a newspaper article. And you see these are from the Sixth Floor Museum at Dealey Plaza. And then that just kind of tells you a little bit of information there. But very cool. I did not know any of that information. Then the next one is one of those iconic photos of the Kennedy limousine. The presidential limousine with the two Secret Service agents up front. Uh, Governor Connolly and his wife, and of course JFK and Jacqueline. I can't remember the name of the Secret Service agent writing on the back. Maybe it gives us, yeah, Will Greer, the driver, uh, Kellerman. So yeah, I, I'm familiar with the names, I just don't know all of them where they go. <clears throat> Super cool picture here of the school book depository as it sits today. It is now a museum, to my understanding. Not the whole building, but the sixth floor. And that's on my short list of places that I really, really want to go. And it's weird. This is going to sound weird. But uh, going to Dealey Plaza is higher on my list than going to a race at Daytona. So that kind of tells you, you know. And of course, this is the, the famed grassy knoll. And this little wall back here, if you're familiar with it, is where Abraham Zapruder was standing when he was shooting his film which is the iconic film that's always shown of the the assassination. Of course, there's a lot of conspiracies and a lot of theories and a lot of facts. and a, just, there, There's so much to it that's very, very intriguing and interesting. You know, and I, I enjoy all of it. I always have since I was a kid. I've read a few books on it. I can't get too much into reading a lot of it about it because, again, there's so much. You get down so many rabbit holes. So I just kind of have read a few books, know enough about it that that it keeps me intrigued. I try to watch documentaries when I can, but it's still pretty interesting. So now that we've sat through that, now we're ready for our Torque Racing Blaster Bach Grip. Um, one auto or mem, there you see it, horizontal. And then we will zoom and scroll. We're actually going to focus today. I've been mindful of keeping this lens right here clean for you guys so that, that way our little phone here will focus and that way we don't have bad rips very very frustrating when you uh <clears throat> when you or i can't see the cards nice packs you can always compliment panini on their wrappers i think they do a really good job on many of their wrappers not all but many Obviously, we are getting a relic, and okay, that's where the relic's at. 
So we're going to start off with Michael Lynette, a numbered card, 73 out of 149, clear vision. I think it's when he was still with Junior Motorsports. But I don't remember him in the five car. I'll remember him in the one car, but not the five. <clears throat> Jimmy Johnson, fan interaction. Terry Labonte. Ryan Blaney. This is where we would have started. Denny Hamlin. Daniel Hemrick. And Daniel, I think, is... I don't know if he's just a cursed driver or if he is just a bad driver. Because he's got one win in the Xfinity Series, which in turn gave him his lone championship. But in the trucks and in the Cup Series and even outside of his championship year, he's had some decent runs, but wow, just... I don't know if he's cursed or if I don't know if he just sucks. Like, it's hard to say. Kyle Busch. Kyle over here drinking. Is he drinking a Rowdy or a Monster or who knows what he's drinking? Then we have a numbered Danica. Numbered 90. 90 out of 100. So almost a bookend. And then we have a Kyle Larson... Gold parallel. Very nice. Very young Kyle Larson. <clears throat> so now we're going to have our relic. Is it going to be a cup driver, Xfinity, truck series, some other smaller NASCAR series? I'm figuring it'll probably be Xfinity because that seems to be pretty solid out of this. So we're going to have Torque Metal Materials. Numbered? Is it numbered? 54 out of 275. And it's going to be David Gilliland. Very nice. <clears throat> so I think it's a pretty cool... Uh, remember when he ran that car part-time for front row? So we do have a little bit of battle scars on this one. And we got two colors on this one. So I think I've pulled this car, card before. Obviously with maybe different pieces of metal. I'll have to go back and look. But overall, not, not too shabby of a pack. I mean, we got a nice number, Danica and Michael Annette. I think David Gillen, being the uh, race-used card, gets card of the day. I see, I like these. Uh, I mentioned it to somebody recently in the comments. Uh, I, I like it when the, when the uh, relic cards have a little bit of character to them. Have a little bit... Because this could have been two plain white pieces of sheet metal... You know, like ho hum, whoopee. But like I said, we got some scrapes or some tire marks or something there on the left one. One on the right has a piece of red and a piece of white. So it could be part of the lettering dock. It could be maybe part of the numbers. Could be a contingency decal. We don't know. But anyway, nice cards out of that box. Anyway, thanks again for <clears throat> thanks again for watching. Really do appreciate you sticking around for the postcard segment and this blaster box rip. So as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. That's uh, absolutely free to do and helps us out here by uh, making our channel a little bit more noticed. So uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. We're going to be at the Speed Room today. They got a lot of racing action. If you're in the area, if you're on the south with southeast side of Indianapolis today, come on down and join us. $15 will get you in the door. And uh, lots of great racing tonight. So we'll uh, see you then. Have a great Saturday.